always a, a good fun thing to mark down in your calendar actually here they get a lot of entries and the, it's a $500 starting pool and you can not just you don't have to just bet at the venue you can uh, bet on whatever's moving till about six o'clock and that will be the first of the jumps races here too in the uh, in the north on that day as well and it'll be the race uh, the two-year-olds line up in two uh, at stakes level which has been a very good race over the years including a horse who's in this race by the name of Hugo Fiscolo who won it a couple of years ago who's at two dollars and seventy cents punters challenge fifth of May 1400 here's George Brendan as uh, go Nicholas goes forward now so Tom Alila and Galaxy Miss will be the last two to load away had a, quite a heavy shower about 15 minutes ago it's cleared up now though and the sun has the audacity to try and poke through the clouds can you believe so the last one in will be Galaxy Miss His Royal Highness the King Michael Coleman to do the riding sees the moment has drawn the inside gate interest around Hugo Fiscolo in his return to the racetrack we're set now 1400 meters the six of them gates open they're off galaxy miss stood there mr by three links sees the moment came out best but quickly hit it now by Hugo Fiscolo and it takes the lead at its uh, leisure moving forward on the outside Tom Alila sees the moment now back to third followed out by the Kipling girl then go Nicholas and last is Galaxy Miss by virtue of that tardy beginning as they work down past the 1000 meters and Hugo Fiscolo with his head on his chest he leads by two links here from uh, Tom Alila up on the outside of sees the moment one and a half away then the Kipling girl from go Nicholas and Galaxy Miss is last but there's only five lengths covering them as they work down by the 700 meters and they're letting Hugo Fiscolo dictate the tempo and he does it by two lengths here from Tom Alila sees the moment is third and a length and a half away next is the Kipling girl then go Nicholas and last of all Galaxy Miss up towards the turn they come 500 meters to go he's idling along out in front Hugo Fiscolo and they're having a look at the others they all appear to be urged along now 350 to go he leads by two from Tom Alila then follow and behind them by Go Nicholas looking to warm up. They're starting to close a little on Hugo Fiscolo. He's two lengths clear from Tom Alila. Go Nicholas, the Kipling girl out wide. Hugo Fiscolo. Look at the Go Nicholas coming through along the inside. And Tom Alila, he's starting to wobble Hugo Fiscolo, but he's just in front. Go Nicholas diving at him, and so is Tom Alila. But Hugo Fiscolo makes a welcome return back to the winner's circle. Hugo Fiscolo won it. It's photos for second and third between Tom Alila and Go Nicholas either way. Then the Kipling girl sees the moment and Galaxy Miss will be the last of them home. He was purring coming towards the home turn, wasn't he? Hugo Fiscolo, 3.40 and eighty, And uh, track conditions possibly tied him up a little bit over the concluding stages. Go Nicholas came at him on the inside and Tom Alita on the outside. I thought momentarily possibly Go Nicholas was going to make it interesting. But he is ducking and diving about a bit in the uh, looser wet uh, track conditions here. But Hugo Fiscolo... And Daniel Johnson, he'll get there second at the line. Photos, not much between them either. Go Nicholas or Tom Alila. And then the Kipling girl ahead of Seize the Moment. He's got there about a half length in it at the line. Hugo Fiscolo. Keeps his uh, record intact here at this venue. Does Hugo Fiscolo three from three. And the group one winner is back in winning action here today. He looked to be travelling very sweetly in front, didn't he? And then there was the challenges and... They were trying to close on him, but he fought on like a good horse can do and has responded pretty close for second. And the five will get second, Tom Alila, just in front of the two and go Nicholas and the outsider. And number six, the Kipling girl, will finish into fourth position. All right. Uh, I understand he was a hold up at Caulfield, so I don't know.